What's up everybody? So I have something super exciting to tell you guys. I've been dying to tell you guys. What the heck's going on now? Who's this? Hello Ryan, it's me, Skyrush. I heard that you made a controversial statement about me. What are you talking about? You're my favorite ride at Hershey Park. What can I say about me? Right here. With the town council seeing how Skyrush was just kind of a flop, honestly. Flop, honestly. Flop, honestly. You bastard son of a kiss. Okay, fine, you caught me. Let me explain for a second now. So I was going to tell you guys something exciting going on in my life, but since Skyrush had to come interject in my video, let's go over that topic. Was Skyrush a success for Hershey Park or was it a flop? So back when I made that video where Skyrush had to call me out on it, I didn't really do much research about Skyrush. I was only going off of what I have heard about Skyrush or what I've heard other people saying about the ride, and also off my own personal observations on how popular the ride does compared to the rest of the rides at the park. I think that anybody that attends Hershey Park on a regular basis cannot deny that Sky Rush normally has one of the shorter lines in the parks, at least when it comes to the coasters. Comparing to Storm Runner, Fahrenheit, Great Bear, Laugh Track, even Comet. Comet always has a ridiculously long line. But anytime I go on Sky Rush or even walk past Sky Rush, it always has a very short line. It's normally no longer than a five minute wait. Then again, I normally visit on weekdays, but I have visited the park on a few Saturdays, and even on those days, it was still kind of a short wait. Of the 16 visits that I did last year, only about two times ever did I ever see Skyrush with a pretty noticeable line. And it wasn't even that long of a line, like maybe if even a 20 minute wait. And both of those times were on Saturdays, I will say. But still, every other coaster in the park had a significantly longer line. So that was kind of the thought process I was going with when I was making that video last month. I didn't do much research about Skyrush. So why do a lot of people not like Skyrush? And I think we all know the answer to this, and it's the restraining system on Skyrush. A lot of people complain that the restraints sort of crush their thighs too much, Hence the nickname Sky Crush or Thigh Crush. For me personally, it's never been too big of an issue. It does kind of come down to my thighs a little bit, but it doesn't bother me that much at all. The rest of the ride is just so much fun and I just overlook this little tiny issue with it and just enjoy the rest of the ride for what it has to offer, which is extreme moments of airtime and some pretty intense positive G moments too, especially after that 200 foot tall drop going right into that right turn. You're pulling up to 5 G's on that thing, and then immediately afterwards you're going into your first airtime hill, which you can pull like negative 2 G's, so it's a pretty rapid transition there. But a lot of coaster enthusiasts that I either talk to or just follow on social media and everything, I know a lot of enthusiasts that do not like the ride because of the restraint system. But I wanted to do a little bit more research for this video and see how many people really do like Skyrush. After looking through some articles and through some top 10 lists and everything, I found that there were quite a few people out there that really put Skyrush high up in their lists. Even on the golden ticket of Awards. From 2013 up to 2019, Skyrush managed to stay within the top 30 top steel coasters in the world. I think that's a pretty significant stat there. The opening year, I believe it hit number 47 in 2012, but 2013 up to 2019, it stayed either at 30 or above 30. So I'd say that's a pretty successful coaster there. And whether coaster enthusiasts do or don't like this ride, I think nobody can deny that this is definitely a bucket list coaster that any enthusiast would be dying to get on because it's such a unique ride. It's one of only two of this model in the world from Intamin. The other one being a Ferrari World at Abu Dhabi. I also did a poll on my Instagram account for my channel, which if you don't follow that, it's the Ride Guy 93. I'll put a link in the description down below. Make sure to follow that if you don't already. But I made a post asking people what their honest opinions were on Skyrush, and while I did get a few people with negative comments on it, I would say about 90% of the people that commented on it had nothing but great things to say about Skyrush and it was either their favorite ride at Hershey Park or even among their favorite coasters of all time. So between doing that poll myself and then just doing more research and just trying to look into more people's opinions about Skyrush, it really opened my eyes to how popular the ride really is. So back to the main question of the video, was Skyrush a success or a flop for Hershey Park? I hereby retract my statement from that video. <laughs> It was not a flop for Hershey Park. Skyrush was an absolute success for Hershey Park. While we are talking about Skyrush, I do want to mention one more thing too. I know in some of my vlogs back around December or so, I had mentioned that Skyrush may be getting over the shoulder restraints on it. That's not happening. I noticed on one of Hershey Park's posts, somebody asked if Skyrush was going to get new restraints or not. And in this screenshot right here, they made it pretty clear. No plans as of right now. So. At least for a few more years, I would say, the restraints on Skyrush are not being touched, which I am very happy about that. I love the restraints. It has a very open feeling to it, and this is a restraining system that you can't really get that sensation of freedom on any other coaster that I can think of at the moment. So I'd say that's a big sigh of relief for a lot of people who are big fans of Skyrush. So Skyrush, can you forgive me for what I said in that video? I forgive you, Ryan, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get a few trolls commenting down below. Well, yeah, I do expect that. You can't please everybody, so there'll be some negative comments. And I think their favorite ride is King of the Cop. 
Oh yeah, Top Throw Dexter is better. Excuse me? What did you just say about me? Top Throw Dexter is better. I said what I said. Dude, I'm taller and faster than Top Throw Dexter. <laughs> Obviously, I must be a better ride. Okay, lose the over the sword of restraints and you're just a super rough ride. That's right, Ryan. You preach. Okay, I'm done being haunted. I'm out of here. Oh, look, look, you scared, scared him off. Hey, wait, where are you going? Hey, come on, don't walk away from us now. Well, this, this is awkward. awkward. Uh, what did I miss?